Golden Banks. Why am I saying it's about Golden Banks? Because today, I thought, uh, my friend, Mr. Golden, on 12th of February, 2019, Mr. Golden Banks died. And this is my little tribute to Golden Banks, the best goalkeeper we've ever had playing for England, and probably the world at one time. Golden Banks, LBE, 13th of December 1937 to 12th of February 2019, was an English professional footballer who played as a goalkeeper. He made 628 appearances during his 15-year career in the Football League and won 73 caps for England, highlighted by starting every game of the nation's 1966 World Cup victory. Banks joined Chesterfield in March 1953, played for the youth team in the 1956 FAA Youth Club final made his first team debut in November 1958. Sold to Leicester City for £7,000 July 1959. Played in four cup finals for the club as they were beaten in the 1961 and 1963 FA Cup finals before winning, winning League Cup in 1964, finishing as finalists in 1965. Despite his success in the, in the World Cup win in 1966, he was dropped by Leicester. A sold to Stoke City for fifty thousand pounds in April nineteen sixty seven. In nineteen seventy World Cup, he made one of Graham's greatest saves to prevent a paddy goal, but was absent during the illness as England were beaten by West Germany at the quarter final stage. Banks was a Stoke City's keeper in the nineteen seventy two League Cup win, the club's only major honour. He still he was still Stoke and England's number one when a car crash in October 1972 cost him both a sight in his right eye and eventually a professional career. He played at two last seasons in the United States for Lord Strikers in 1977 and 1978, as by only having vision in one eye, was NASL Goalkeeper of the Year in 1977, posted him at best attempting record in the league. He briefly entered management with Telford United, but left the game in December 1980. Regarded as one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, Banks was named FAWA Footballer of the Year in 1972 as former named FIFA Goalkeeper of the Year on six occasions. The IFFHS named Banks as second best goalkeeper of the 20th century after Liv Yustin first ahead of Dino Zoff third. If you wish to know more about the great man, Golden Banks, look him up on Wikipedia. Thank you, my friends. Rest in peace, Mr. Golden Banks. We shall remember you forever. Thank you for helping us win the World Cup. And that greatest save I still remember, watching when I was a kid. Because I, I was eight during the Second World, uh, World Cup 1970. 1966, I was only four, so I don't remember. And the only other time I actually nearly got to watch Golden Banks is when uh, there was a charity football match meant to be arranged at Roots Hall in South End on Sea football ground. That is football ground. And I'm afraid there was no joy because he was unable to attend. I wish he had because then I could have said I've seen the great Golden Banks. So thank you, this is my tribute to Golden Banks.